you talking about? No morning before 11 o'clock is good. Oh, stop it. Today's gonna be a good day. I know. Plus, last night was a lot of fun. I know. We should do it again. Soon. Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Natch Evil, and we're doing this again. More high school dreams. We all have our high school dreams. Some more than others. God, I know I have high school dreams. Oh good, gossip. That's what I need. Chuck totally broke up with Chelsea Harper. He said he's done with cheerleader types. <laughs> Look out all you bookish girls, then. Yeah, I guess. And we're totally done with Petey. Wait, we got a message. Ooh, it's from Emily. Sup, Emily. Uh... Yes! Time to talk to Emily. Well, tracking her down should be easy. Here we go. Hey! Don't give me that. Well? Well what? Tell me how it went! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hated it. I don't even really like mini golf, but we went anyway. Then why'd you go? I don't know, just to try it. Anyway, he tells me he's gonna walk me home, and here comes Izzy. Ew. Yeah, ew. I know, she's all, Hey, Petey, where are you going? Come on, let's play some golf. So did he stay with her? Yeah. <gasps> what a jerk. I don't know about that. I mean, I was upset at the time, and I kind of still am. But they're best friends, and I just met him. I don't care. You just met him, sure. But a date is a date, and you didn't come in and invite yourself to be the third wheel. I know, but I could have stayed and watched. Or he could have walked you home, but he didn't. I know, huh? Izzy's always doing stuff like that, and I can't stand it. I'm surprised he puts up with it. Liz here is too good for her own good, or something. He doesn't know any better. He's a guy. Put a girl who shows interest in front of them and their tails start to wag. Like dogs. Good comparison. You think you'll go out with him again? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, you are. Why do you say that? Because if you weren't going to, you just would have said no. You notice how how Emily's always looking around. I wonder what it means. <sighs> Alright. I guess. I guess. We have Here. this... I got you a gift. We have this CD for you, PD. I, I don't want it anymore. I guess you can have it. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So... So... Things... What do you do in your spare time? Spin. What about the times when you're not spinning? There's no such thing. Come on, are you for real? Yeah, I'm serious about this. That's real talk, man. But sometimes I do kick it with Izzy. We haven't seen each other in a while. Good. Getting ready for this battle keeps me pretty busy. <laughs> I guess let's just get out of here. It's friggin' Petey. Freaking Petey! Uh, no, this board doesn't say anything. What's this board say? Hmm. Town center, huh? Hmm. Well, let's head to the town center. Wait, what? What's this? Hey, I need your help. Izzy was gonna help me practice for the battle, but she isn't here. Can you help? Petey, we just got to the town center. Ah, oh, let's. No, just, we're busy. Let's take a look around this place. Uh, like, look, it's a statue of Captain Charm. Captain Charm Charm. She only had one name for her ship. All right, fine, we'll head back. God, Liz is such a pushover compared to, I guess, I don't know. It's just... If I were in this situation, I'd say fuck Petey, but... <clears throat> we do love him. Or are stalking him. Ah, 
Ah, the sweet sound of the school bell. Time to head home. Yeah, eat it, Petey. <laughs> Hi. You'll never guess what I heard. Ooh, gossip. <clears throat> Fun. Something juicy, sure. Well, how about... Uh, this old... You know what I heard? Chuck forgot Chelsea Harper's birthday, and that's why she broke up with him. I can't blame her. What's the deal with Chelsea Harper anyway? Everybody's talking about her. I don't want to talk about her. I don't even know her. Alright. I do want to know Olivia, though. Don't ask me why. It just seems right. She's got a great name. How are you? <sighs> waiting, 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 waiting. Ah, there we go. What? But it's, it's only nine o'clock. It's only not what? <laughs> Let's see here. I, I guess we got to give PD a second chance. I mean, the entire story is kind of, kind of fixed on the idea that we, we've got to approach PD eventually, and, and I think my art here reflects that, as my art here reflects it. I'm a kitty. Meow. <laughs> I don't even know why I got. It just seems right. <laughs> Looks like the girl from Ruffy's. Side note, holy shit, Ruffy's is down. My nostalgia! <laughs> hmm, they're actually encouraging us to run in the hallways. Well, let's start with a little piano mix. Was that a thing? Oh well, whatever. All right. Hey, I had a good time with you the other day. Cool. So did I. Lies. I wanted to apologize for making you walk home by yourself. I felt pretty bad about it later on. Well, to be fair, you should have. It's okay. I'm understand. It's too mad. God damn it. Uh, it's Petey. It's Petey. Come on. It's cool. She's your best friend. We just started hanging out. You can't ignore your friends once you start dating someone. Really? You're not mad? Did she beat you? No. Then yes, I am mad. Well, here then. I got these for you. Yeah, PD needs reassurance. What's, what's the... Flowers? Cool! They smell delicious! I... Uh, I guess these kind of make it better. Good. Because I need you to do me a favor. Fine. What do you need me to do? I need you to match up these discs and pass them to me when I need them. I... what? Seriously? Alright. So that means I get to hear your mix? If you're fast enough, yeah. Okay... This is the matching game. Basically, it's like sorting laundry, only we're sorting discs. I'm not real sure why... Sorting is kind of, I mean, yeah! has anybody who's DJed, I'm sure you know that one, CDs, really? The, the 90s? Again? But the other thing about sorting discs yeah! is when you're a DJ, don't you pre sort them? Isn't that yeah! part of the job? While I'm on the subject, he's having me hand him CDs so that he can put them on the turntable. Yeah! That makes sense, I guess. I don't know, it just yeah! raises so many questions, man. So many things I gotta know. Yeah! Anyway, I'm okay at this, I guess. Yeah! And it's honestly not that exciting. Actually, for a while there, I didn't even notice there was a there was a clock at the bottom timing me. Such things are the way things go. At least I got a hundred points. Uh, yeah, sure, let's play again. It was super exciting by not exciting. 
Here's the same thing, only in four times speed. Whee! <laughs> okay, well... High school absurdities aside... You were pretty tight just now. You might almost be ready for your lessons. Serious? Yeah. I was worried at first, but you caught on. Thanks. I was hoping I didn't mess you up. Don't trip. That's Izzy's job. Why yeah, do you right. say that? Because I asked her to help me too. Does she like what you do? With the mixing, I mean. I thought so. If something had to come up, she wouldn't just dog me like that. Okay, this choice really does tear me up. I'm torn between bashing Izzy or reassuring the delicate ego. I'm sure she's fine. Probably something to do with school or sports. Probably, but still, she knows how important this is to me. Well, if you keep focusing on what Izzy didn't do and what you need to do, you'll get killed at the battle. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I'm gonna have to sort out Izzy, aren't I? Fuck that noise, for now. Meanwhile, gossip. My mom's friend works in an office next to a modeling agency, and she said she saw Chelsea Harper going in there one day last week. Well, if you got it... I'm sure this will never come up again. Someone said that their mom works in an office next to a modeling agency, and she said she saw Chelsea Harper going in there one day last week. Well, if you got it. That's creepy. I'm a Stepford Wives like... So, this is the point where I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. I mean, we can try and contact Olivia again. I basically need to waste the rest of the day. What what else is there in life besides the mall and school? You know? Like, I, I don't know. I always hung around the university library. Eh, ah, she's having a relaxing day. That's nice. That's made of nice. Fuck her. Well, uh, uh, Liz, what are you doing? <laughs> what the shit? Ice physics, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, I guess this is the point in time, since I couldn't think of anything to do, I, I just started collecting. <laughs> just started collecting shit left and right. Because that's what the park is for, it's for collecting shit. I could be collecting clothes or whatever, but no. No, I'm just collecting shit. Like, litter and magnets, which... I, kind of account for the same thing in my mind. Oh, and a well. Have we wished for love yet? Let's wish for love. Hmm. I just want to find a guy who treats me right. Yeah. Like, like Chuck? Please make Petey notice me. Whenever I'm around, he's too busy mixing. Man, Liz has got it bad. Alright, back to collecting. I'm sure we can find a whole bunch of random shit, because why not? Uh, also, there's this guy. Hi, need any help? I do need someone to help me plant the flower beds near the fountain, if you're interested. Yeah, sure. I, I think we get a amount of money for this. some extra time. So what do you want me to do? Well, I have some small flowers that need planting. All you have to do is plant them in a pleasing pattern. Did you not see my outfit? Doesn't it look like I know what pleasing to the eye is? <laughs> look at mine. Do you think I'd be able to tell in the first place? Yes, you're right. This is the point in the game where it doesn't matter what you do. I, I'm not even sure why this is here. It's such a weird thing to include in your game. I mean, what are you gonna do? Why not just have, like, are people interested in this? Are there girls in high school that are really interested in, in bush planning and practicing? There, there must be someone who thinks that this is the part of the game that is the best. It cannot get any better than placing plants. Right? I don't know. You did a really nice job. Here's a small thank you for your hard work. Thanks for X amount of money. <laughs> uh, I finally have something to put in this flower vase. I, I guess we gotta give Petey another chance. I mean, yeah, he's a dick sometimes, but I mean, the worst that can happen is we'll have to 
break his legs to make sure he doesn't leave us ever again. Show him mini golf. Can you hear that? Do you hear that music? I have the music turned off. Look at this. The music's turned off, but the music is still there. Is it is it voice? Is it voice? Is it effects? It's effects. <laughs> Quality. Hey, yeah, sure, we'll gossip. Last girl that got Chelsea Harper mad wound up switching schools. I'm just saying. Interesting. Who's Chelsea Harper? Which one of these girls is Chelsea Harper? So, uh... Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll get some scoop. Chelsea Harper's just one misunderstood cheerleader, you know? You say so. Motherfucking, who's Chelsea Harper? So, with nothing else to do, I... I just kind of decided, fuck it, I could mess with Izzy right now, since it's a day off, it's not really a school day, but instead, I'll just go through the, the skate park and see what I can do here. As you can clearly see, I do shit. It's actually really bad. It's really bad. Um, the hard difficulty for this minigame is actually hard. Uh, most of the mini games are, are like this. Easy and medium mode, I mean, bronze and silver mode, whatever you want to call it, are, eh, alright. But I mean, look at this, I need 800 points, I got 645. So of course, I, I try again. This, actually, I tried quite a few times. This is just my, uh, I think my third or fourth attempt. And I've gotten a little bit better. Knowing the course definitely helps. It's just like, just like anything else. Do you remember, uh, if you guys have seen it or not, there was the course for uh, Shantae whenever I'm going up against, uh, what's her name, Roddy Tops. Same deal. It's just memorization, making sure you're hitting the jumps at the exact same time on the same course. All in all, actually a pretty fun mini game, probably the most fun of the mini games. But uh, god damn, if it, if it isn't hard. So uh, my score isn't here. What I get? 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 Come on, come on! Don't don't leave me in suspense. What did I get? Six points short. Son of a... That is unacceptable. Unacceptable! Alright. This is it. Win or lose, this is the last time I'm doing this today. The trick to getting uh, 800 points in this is never miss a star. Those stars are worth 20 points, and if you miss one, you're doomed. Heck, look at that. I got all the stars in the last course, and six points short. If you can, avoid the skulls. I honestly don't think it's possible. What you really want to avoid, more than avoiding the skulls, is the boxes. Be ready to jump. Actually, the jumps can be kind of forgiving. You can jump uh, way ahead of schedule if you need to. And I suspect whenever you're going through this, if you're playing this game, eh, you should. I suspect whenever you're playing this game that when you're in the air, you're still going to pick up whatever it is, heart, coin, or star. So that might be useful whenever you're uh, timing your jumps for the boxes. Round two. That star right there. That's a bitch. These skulls are, I think, minus 20 points each. So getting a star and then getting a skull kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, let's see, I've only got one skull this time around. This isn't too bad. The hearts are... I mean, they're only two points each, so they're the ones you should be not worrying about the most. Coins and stars. Coins and stars. You need to get you some coins and stars. I wonder what the, uh... I could, pr I could probably do the math. In fact, I'll, I'll just do the math and then post it right... Mm, no, no, no. Mm, well, no. Now! All right. <laughs> Uh, round three. 
at least this time. I don't know why uh, why it does this. Some of the times the score will not show, which is aggravating. It's all fuck. That it's not just fraps. It's not a fraps thing. This game has some very strange glitches. It is oddly competent. It's that mixture of competent and incompetent that makes it feel good. It just makes it feel like they didn't have enough time for quality control. Oh no, I missed a heart. Way better this time. Look at that, we're already at 7.30. Is it 7.30 already? Get that star. There we go. Oh. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. There we go, over 800. Now I just gotta miss all the skulls. And boom, 847. We get a prize. We get a prize. Loading the local craze, collecting fridge magnets. Because that's what Captain. What? <laughs> oh my god! They're beautiful! We gotta try these on now! <laughs> there it is, uh, bonus gear. Let's throw on these hot pants. Oh, and they come with, with pads, safety pads. Sexy! <laughs> I could mix and match the awful, but I won't. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> we, we're going to school like this. That's what the cool kids are doing. 